be ready for it. Thank you very much, Kevin. As you said, it's still dangerously cold this morning. That's right, but a warm up is on the way and many people are just trying to get their life back to normal. 7 Action News reporter Naya Harden is live in Pontiac this morning. And Naya, are there any changes that we're seeing already, even though it's still kind of cold? Yeah, well, overnight, consumers' energy actually went ahead and lifted that 65 degrees or less request that they had asked you to do when it came to your heat. Of course, a lot of people we were speaking to participated in that, including the big three automakers, which we know right now we are expecting people here in Pontiac at the plant to go back to work uh, because obviously there is a lot that they have to get done since they have been closed down. Now, this is all happening after Wednesday when the big three agreed to close or reduce production. This was due to the fire that happened yesterday at the, excuse me, two days ago at the Consumers Energy's Ray Natural Gas Compressor Station in Ray Township. Now, as of midnight, manufacturing operations resumed. Non-manufacturing operations, though, they won't reopen until Monday. Other things getting back to normal, though. Mail deliveries will resume. State and government offices will reopen. Secretary of State offices are actually going to be extending their hours. Saturday, some locations will Will stay open till three in the afternoon and on Sunday and month, excuse me, and on Monday, all branches will stay open until seven in the evening. Now, the next big thing, of course, we are all going to have to worry about are those potholes. Yes, the word just makes me cringe already. Just thinking about it, those potholes are going to be everywhere because of that freeze thaw type of cycle that we tend to go through here in Michigan. Of course, you know, WXYZ is committed to helping you get around Metro Detroit, and we want you to let us know what you are seeing. Please go ahead and send us an email uh, letting us know how to get around at w, getting around at WXYZ.com. Once again, that's getting around at WXYZ.com. Nia Harden, 7 Action News. Yeah.